Blessings and a merry meet to you, my enchanted and magical angels. Willow here. So what adventures does Willow's Magical Adventures have for you today? Are we going to stay in the comforts of my home and my den, doing magical practice, cooking, crafting, and all those exciting things? Or are we going to venture into the world? And are we going to go to the fairy realm woodlands, a place of magical, mystical, and enchanted energies? Are we going to connect with the Fae, with the elementals, and with all of the energies of nature? Or are we going to stay at home and do it from the comforts of the den? Let's see. Follow me, Willow, and let's go on our new adventures. Enjoy. Whee! Hello and welcome my magical and enchanted angels. Willow here with another series from Willow's Magical Adventures. So on today's series we're going to be looking back and recapping onto this week's Willow Valley Fairy Garden Evidence. I have had two shows this week that have showed some really amazing evidence of spirit energy and of energies of the Fey Folk the Fae people, the good people, all of the names that you like to call them. There has been some astounding evidence of them being around and lots of clear footage and evidence has been caught in my videos. So I'm going to be showing you my first part of my videos which are to do with the evidence that I've caught through these streams. Then the second part of the video will be me in my enchanted woodland where i interact with the fey folk and with the energies of nature regularly so i hope that you enjoy this video and let's get started so in this part of the video you'll see me go to do a prayer you'll see distinct energies moving around me, those of the spirits and those that I know and believe to be the Fey Folk. So let's play the video. I will not be showing all parts of this video, only the parts that I felt stood out to me and to my viewers the most. So let's start and please enjoy everybody. Forth, and I call out to all of the spirits and to you, my faith, so to all of my energy of nature, and I ask that you come forth and to come in positive and good energy. I do not give any permission to any negative or unwanted energy, I only give permission to the positive and good energy. And I you can you see distinct light anomalies going around me. Now, these sort of energies and lights can be given off by the Fey folk. And over towards the fence, you can see one of the energies of the Fey moving slowly around the fence and the shed area. You can distinctly see orbs and very distinct bright lights moving in front of the screen also. Yourself and let us know that you're here. Lots of love to you all. 
You can see distinct like movements to the back of the shed Seven and the vent area. Hello, angels. Hope you're all right. You can also see lights and energies coming in and out. It's very common to see the movements within the garden and the energies. You can see these little balls of light. Now, they come and they appear and disappear. There is no bug or energy that is living that would do that, apart from the fey folk. You will also notice that with the energies of the fey folk, they show a very bold, distinct light and energy when they are forming. There was one that's just come towards the screen. In some of the videos that I'm going to be showing you clips on, you can distinctly see the shapes, the wings and the energy of the fey as well. I'm now sitting in the fairy area where the houses are and you can distinctly see energies of the spirits and energies of the fey folk moving around me. It's very important to remember and over near the shed and coming down towards me and going to the flowers and then over to where their offering area is. It's very important to remember that me myself I have fairy sight, so I can see them physically with my eyes without using any devices. So I can always tell and see when they're around. I know the different types of energy that I feel. And I find that a lot of the time when I'm around the fey folk, they will make me feel very playful, joyful, happy. I feel the sense of being watched and I also see them. Remember that some of the things that fey folk actually do is very, very similar to some of the deities and energies of the spirit realms that we connect with as well. If you are somebody that is open and can connect with energies, then it's more easier to be able to tell the difference between them. But if you are somebody just starting out and you are not really that open to it, then these distinct things that I've just said to you are some of the factors that really do show the Fae being around you. You see again another light anomaly coming across the screen. There were quite a few lights coming out towards us at this time and you see distinct movement to the back. You can see energy moving around. In this area you can see the Fae folk moving about. You can see distinct energies moving from the offering era. There is one coming over towards the screen in a minute. You'll see it start to flicker and hover around near the offering area and then moves over towards us. You can see distinct energies of light and of orbs also. Did you see that going down towards the screen? At this time, I am sitting there and I am looking and connecting with all of the energies of my garden. And I distinctly can see the fey folk moving around me as well as the spirits. I do quite often like to go and sit in the area of where the fairy houses are just to show my respect and to show them that I am comfortable with their energy. An orb just coming down past the shed. Obviously we are looking for fey folk but we're also showing the evidence and the good captures of the spirit energy also. All energy that I work with is important to me and I believe that should be shown and be something that people can see and be educated by. At this time in this video, 
I am picking up on the energies of the Fae and I'm hearing music and them singing. I'm feeling their energy moving around and I'm seeing a distinct light that was moving back and forth across my fence but I could not explain or understand where this light was coming from. This cannot be seen on the camera but I could see it with my eyes. You've just seen some very fast energy moving across the screen. Something that's very important to understand about the faith folk is they can give off bright light, they can make lights flicker and then disappear, they can give off orbs and they can show in their true form. An energy has just formed above my head as you see also. When showing my evidence, I was to distinctly only show you the evidence that really to me shows their energy being around. Surprisingly, in my garden at night, there isn't very many bugs, creatures or anything that comes to my garden. So I have that privilege. I don't know if this is something to do with the protection energy that I put around my home as well. And because of my, my faith folk and my energies being there. But not a lot of wildlife comes into my garden at night. In the daytime, it's a different story. There are many birds and other creatures that come into my garden. I know that there is a distinct animal or creature of some type that does like to take food. Did you see the energy just move in front of the camera? It does take the food, but I've yet to be able to find the culprit. But I do believe that maybe there is a mole or some sort of small rat that may be eating the food because there is a hole going under my shed. You can see the energy is moving around. You can see the light that's just distinctly shown to the back of me and on the fence. There is a lot of flickering lights and flickering energy lights that move very quickly. There are distinct, prominent and bold light that comes in front of cameras. These are all telltale signs of the Fey Folk. I am also being touched on my head, which is something that my faith folk really like to do a lot. There is a big difference between somebody touching your head and somebody pulling your hair. If my hair was being pulled, then I would be a little bit more worried. Did you see the light that's just gone down? Another distinct sign of the faith folk. If it was an energy pulling my hair, then I would distinctly be a little bit more worried because the more less night faith folk intend to do things like that and pick on us humans in this part of the video you can distinctly see light anomalies coming down towards the camera and around me very fast moving and very distinct. These are clear signs of the Fey Folk and also clear signs of the Fey Folk realm. What you need to remember is that my area of garden was opened and dedicated to the Fey realm, meaning that the Fey Folk realm is within the garden. It's very important to remember that as Fey Folk, their realms are very close to ours, even so next to our realm. So they are within it. So you can see them distinctly coming in and out of this realm. You may see them appear and disappear in certain areas of the garden. This is distinct attributes and activity of the Fae. You can clearly see a few of their lights going off as well as energies of the spirits as well given off orbs.
more lights and distinct lights moving very fast across the screen. You can see a lot of movements and a lot of shifts to the back fence and to the fairy house area where all of the flowers and the fairy houses are situated. You can see a lot of energy that is moving around the fence and the flower area and you can see distinct patterns of energy moving very quickly. Darting and moving very quick. One minute they're on the screen and the next they have disappeared. Again, this isn't a bug. Bugs will distinctly show themselves often on screen and do not disappear. In this part of the video, you're going to see some distinct energies moving around on the screen and moving up from the ground and moving across the screen, going towards the fairy ivy fence and the ship. more anomalies and lights moving and disappearing within sight on the camera. Most definitely the playful fey energy, I would say. more light phenomena they are absolutely amazing and they are becoming very comfortable and very unshy now on showing themselves onto camera A movement and an energy just gone past the shed. And another light phenomena. And shortly you will see a light phenomena that goes from the bottom moving up towards the sky near the shed. I do believe that this is a very, very prominent orb. or light phenomena. It's very important to remember that not all fey folk will show to you in full apparition of themselves. 
Some will show to you in light forms or flashes of light. It really depends on them on, at that time and if they really want to show the self properly. In this part of the video, you see some light phenomena and movement, and you can see some energies moving very quickly. These are most definitely my fey folk. You see a light that forms near the shed and an energy of light that comes just near the camera. And you can see distinct movement towards the sky and energies coming from the ground and up. There is most definitely movement going towards the flowers and the fairy house area. You can see a lot of energy moving around. My garden is very active due to all of the energies that I have around me and that I communicate and connect with on a daily basis. It is truly a privilege to be able to show these sorts of activity going on and that you, you guys are trusted enough for them to show themselves to you. With all the years of dedication and opening with my faith folk and my spirits, they have allowed me now to be able to show you the evidence of them. This is not just the only evidence that I've got. As you, some of you of my channel know, I have got some very concrete evidence of faith folk recently. And please make sure that you go and check the shorts and my other videos on my channel to see. As you can see in the video, there is a lot of energy moving around, lots of light, lots of orb anomalies. There is a lot of going on in this garden. It's very hard to pick up every piece of activity that goes on. So I'm only going to show you the pieces that are most prominent to me. As you can see that on the camera, there are a lot of energies moving across the screen, coming down the screen or going up the screen. Very distinct lights and anomalies. There will be small parts of the videos where I will do it in normal speed, then slow the speed down so you can see an energy in a better source. Instead of doing it at 0 0.25 today, I'm going to do it at 0 0.05 because then that is still a little bit faster, but still good enough for you to be able to see the energy. Are you seeing the energies moving towards the cameras? These are most definitely some of my faith folk. I can say that on this evening, we were most, oh, did you, that's the finger pointing into the fairy area because there is a lot of movement and you can see the energy coming up there. Absolutely amazing.
me just doing my little thing trying to get them to get excited and to do their thing I've seen a lot of light anomalies of my faith folk moving around me energies moving and orbs moving across the screens In this next part of the video, you are going to distinctly see one of my faith folk that is called Leah, it called Lily. She comes here and forms on the door and then moves across the screen. There she is. And you can see all of the energies moving around her and flying after her. This is one of them being her mother and one being her father. Lily is a faith folk. That is, in our age, would be 12 or 13 years old. So she's very much still a child. Can you see the energy moving in the background as well? She is most definitely still very young, learning and being trained to keep safe while being in her environments. So anywhere she goes at the moment, her parents most definitely follow her. So I'm wanting to bring that video back and I want to put it into slow mode so that you can see what is going on. You can see the energy is moving around here. So I'm just going to go back slightly. In our age would be 12 or 13 years old. So she's very much still a child. Can you see the energy moving in the background as well? She is most definitely still very young, learning and being trained to keep safe while being in her environments. So anywhere she goes at the moment, her parents most definitely follow her. So I'm wanting to bring that video back and I want to put it into slow mode so that you can see what is going on. You can see the energy is moving around here. So I'm just going to go back slightly and I'm going to put the 0 0.05. Just bring it back slightly. You can distinctly see the energy that's moving around near the fence and coming forward. You can see that and very shortly. Again, you will see the energy form on the door and then go across going towards the ivy fence. And you will see Lily's mother and father and a couple of other fae folk following her to keep her safe. Here she comes, going across. You cannot say that that is an insect or a bug or anything. That is most definitely Lily and a fae folk. There is a mother and a father goes above, going past the shed and more to the top of the screen. This was truly an amazing catch. I would like to just put it back again so that you can see it. She forms on the door and she moves across. And there she is. Her mother and her father 
and there were some other energies moving them with her as well that are the faith folk. Capturing this sort of evidence is truly amazing. And you just can't deny that that was not any creature that is of living and of animals that we know. You can distinctly see the humanoid body and the wings. You can see some distinct light anomalies and energies forming in the video on this part. Energy is forming and disappearing. Coming across, you see that one coming down then. And energy moving towards the top of the screen. Energy moving around near the den. And one's just gone past the fence and into my wall. There's one flying across from the fence towards my direction. And a light has just formed in the corner of the screen. You can distinctly see a lot of energy and a lot of movement. They are most definitely around and enjoying every part of this. can see movements going towards the flowers and the den area and I will say that in the den area Liara, Clara and Primrose are sitting just here you can see their energies there's three heads and they were climbing up here you can see them just here you can see the light anomalies moving across the screen Seeing the lights forming, these are clear signs and openings of the Fae. There was an orb as well. It's very important to know that the Fae folk, the good folk, the good people, the little people, Whatever you like to call them, they will show to you in any form they wish to do. So this could be a flickering of a light or a full body apparition. It can be an orb or it can just be very quick movements with maybe sparkles or little flashes. Whatever they decide to do is what they would do. But it's also very important to remember that with some spirits, they do similar things. But I find that spirits don't so much send off sparkles and stuff. They will more do like the orbs or the movement of energy being seen. Remember that there is a lot of activity that are going on in these videos. So please do not just think that what I am showing you is all that is there. There is so much more going on, but it's very hard to get all of this content on together. 
so please make sure that you do go over to my channel and go to my live shows and click on any of the shows to do with Willow Valley or my Enchanted Fairy Garden watch, anything like that, and watch the videos in full. Then you can see a lot more activity than what I'm showing you on the videos. Light phenomena. Some movement across the screen. Flickers of light and flashes of light. And distinct movements going around the fence and around the fairy pot areas. There was something that's just moved across the screen as I come out of the door. Hang on. Go back. So watch the door. And you see this energy form in front of the door as it opens. And it moves across the grass. very important to remember that the light is not shining on the door the light is forming and facing towards the shed so there is no reflection that can be coming from my door you see the energy is moving around did you see that light just appear I mean disappear and an energy coming towards us this is what I'm saying about the faith folk this is typical of their energy and their activity Lights just flicking and disappearing. I do believe that these are forms of their doorways and portals that they come in and out of. Lights flicking. Movements to near the fairy garden area. Energy coming down. The door part will be here in a minute. Distinctly look for when the door opens and you'll see an energy form. Again, as I said, this is not a reflection from the light on the door because the camera is not facing the door. It's facing the shed and the fence. You can see the energy is clearly and distinctly moving around and you see this very large anomaly just form in front of the door. You've just seen a slight movement to my camera as well. And she's moving up and down. So that was me moving the camera on that bit. Didn't realize I was coming back. I didn't think I was out yet. Um, trying to find the door part. Just let me find the door part, guys, and I'll be back with you. So you see the camera is facing away from the door at this time.
can see the energy is moving around. Here it is. So you see the light and something just moves across. You see the light on the wall from the door and then you see something go across the screen from here and it goes across. See the energies flying around. So that's it for this video. I'm now going to bring you the second video, which is from the stream that I done tonight, which is on Friday. So now moving on to video two, which is the video from tonight. Absolutely amazing. Again, some very interesting things were caught. As I said in the last video, I will not show you everything in this video. You can watch it full on my channel. I will only show you the parts that I feel distinctly stood out and should be shown. And again, these are to do with my spirits and my faith folk. So let's bring the second video up and enjoy, guys. You can see some very distinct and light anomalies moving across the screen. And in a short time, you're going to see me come and do again a prayer. So I always find that be, doing prayers and being protected is important. And you're going to see the energies now moving around me, coming from the ground, coming around me and moving everywhere. These are my faith folk and my spirit people. At this moment in time, I'm feeling a lot more of the energy of my faith folk. And there are a few spirits that are moving here and there. Lots of movement, lots of energy. Lights flickering and movements going around near my pots and around near my flowers. And on the pot that's hanging on the wall. And on the fence you can see a lot of energy moving around it. At the moment I'm moving the camera to try and get the right angle so that I can get everything that I'm wanting in. In this bit, I was talking about Lily, the fae that I showed you in the previous video. Did you see the energy moving across me there and one down near my leg? They are the Fae. Lights and anomalies moving and disappearing appearing very quickly
can see movement towards the top of the fence. You can see movement around near the pots that are hanging on the fence and around the pots on the floor where the flowers are. There is a lot of energy coming towards the screen as well. light phenomena, movements. That is what I believe. I did think that was a moth at first, but you see it just disappear. So that one I'm not sure about. And light flickered towards the shed. Energy's coming back and forth. Clara and Liara were most definitely moving around in the shed and flower area. If anyone that's wondering who they are, they are Fay Folk. You can see orbs and things moving as well, which are the spirits. But that sort of energy that's just gone from the shed near the sky area was most definitely not. That was a fae. That orb that's just come forward was a spirit. You can see the lights of the fae going and disappearing right on the screen. You can see energy moving about, flashes. Orbs, the spirits and the fae are most definitely around. And what I'm going to do is take you to about an hour, guys, so that we can see more activity happening. So in this part, I am helping Primrose, one of my fae folk that was injured, and I was doing a blessing and a ritual spell for her, for healing and helping the other fae folk to help her and to help them as well. You can see a lot of distinct energy moving around me. Still doing my ritual, doing my movement, but there was something there. Let me just put that back slightly. See the movements, energies coming, orbs. The fey in the back, you can see little tiny little lights. Lots of light and movement and fast movement because the fate energy and the spirit energies were there trying to help with what I was doing for Primrose and for them.
in this part I have just cleaned the tray and everything up for Primrose and that because that is their little altar tray and now we're just visualizing and looking at uh, something to the top of the screen we are just looking we're trying to see what we're doing I'm going to put this onto the 0.05 speed it down a little bit and see if we can get anything a little bit more better I find that when you slow the videos down, you see so much more happening in it. So I just move there. I am sitting behind the phone, guys. So that is me moving the phone at that time. And energy just gone past the screen. of lights and flickers of light can see distinct energy moving you'll see one a couple of them that come down to the side of the camera where the shed is and one that comes across See the lights forming. Energy. Flashes of light. energy that's formed near the shed like I said to you somebody moving around me in my every bit over there and there was an energy just moved towards the door area energy lots of movement i know that there were some very good parts that were caught in this lots of the light and their energy darting about and moving about some orbs as well distinct distinct movement to like i said the the pot area, the flower area, and to the fence with the ivy on it. A very interesting phenomena as well. See some lights. You see one of my faith folk dart across the screen.
Seen lots of light phenomena. And light above the screen. Or and movements to the flowers and stuff. That's coming downwards. See a lot of light phenomena, very fast moving energy. And there you go, you see that just come down the screen. I want to just bring that little bit again and just slow it down even more so we can see at 0.25. It comes down and across. movements flick as an energy forming near the shed There was a really good one on there where there was one that come right into the screen and came down, but I'm not finding that. So this is why I say to watch back over the videos fully, because you'll be able to see them moving about and you'll be able to see bits that I haven't brought into the videos. See the energy move across the screen. That was definitely a fairy. You can see movement moving around near the flower pots and around near the fairy altar area where I would put their offerings and stuff. Seeing lots of energy and sparkles and lights just appearing and disappearing. Another way that I can tell that it's the fake folk as well, because as you know, yes, some bugs and stuff can move pretty quickly, but the fake folk, they move at unimaginable speeds, faster than any bug, butterfly or anything. And you can distinctly see that this is not bugs because of how fast they move, how they disappear. It's just completely different to when you're looking at an insect or something on screen. And as I said to you, they will stay prominent on the screen normally as well. You can see them the whole time. Where with the faith folk and stuff, you don't. You'll see them in certain areas, then they disappear. And here we go. There you go. Did you see that? That was at 0.25. Let's just do that one more time.
and there you go most definitely my fairies and absolutely amazing as i said there's so much that goes on in this video and there is a part that i see with my sister kim and other people in the stream where there was an energy of a fae that come right up to the screen i believe it was the fae but i wanted to see that i can't find that that part of the video it is in here so you will need to watch it fully to be able to see what i'm on about so that was the video for my two fairy garden watches the one from thursday and the one from friday lots of really amazing parts in the videos of the fae of the spirits and there is going to be plenty more of them coming as well guys i hope that you are enjoying the series so far and that you're enjoying seeing the energies and just remember that i am going to be starting up some educational shows talking to you about fae folk spirits and dragons and things like that giving you facts and information that you need to know that will help you to communicate and to connect with them correctly and the right way without upsetting them. This is really important to do. So the next part of this video is my Fey Folk realm, my enchanted fairy woodlands that I'd gone to with my sister Drew. And it's a place that I have been connected to for a very long time. I have done many ceremonies and rituals of healing and helping all of these sorts of energies that are associated with nature there as well as helping the plants and trees and things to grow as well at one point this place was really run down due to certain trees and stuff being cut down and things being minimized and i worked my hardest to try and bring that energy back and through doing that and having the connections with the fae the fae started to come to this woodland and they started to work on it with me and now they have that as their home and it is somewhere where you see a lot of their energy and a lot of what they do and how they live so this is most definitely a place that i love being part of and it feels so much at, like at home for me and it's somewhere that i really am going to enjoy educating you guys about the fey folk in because it is very much a fey folk realm and they most definitely situate there so the next part of this video is my amazing adventure into the Faith Folk Woodland, the most enchanted and beautiful place. So enjoy, guys, and see you all very, very soon. Let's be. <laughs> 